Hi everyone, last month Unity released their brand new starter assets, which is a great tool for helping newcomers kickstart their project with basic third person and first person character examples. And the third person example especially attracted me and I wanted to try something cool. If you didn't know, I work at wolf 3 d a very cool startup in Estonia, on a very cool product that I started as a side project here in this company about two years ago, Ready Player Me. This is a website and a set of tools around it, which helps you create 3D avatar from single selfie that can be used cross-platform. If you want to learn more about it, please check the links in the description below. So the idea was to replace a robot model that comes with standard assets with a Ready Player Me avatar. And I made one script file for this to set it up very quickly. I will show you every step to get things going. Let's jump right into it. First things first, we will create a new Unity project. Starter Assets supports Unity 2020 and newer versions, so I will go with the latest I have installed 2021. After some changes, this looks good enough for me. I will click on done button, wait for a second, and when it's done, I will copy the URL and paste it into avatar URL area in the avatar loader window. I will click on the load avatar button. It's going to instantiate our model to zero, which is on top of our character. So let's move it aside a little. We can see both of them clearly. So the idea is to add all the components with same values the robot has onto our avatar as well. And we have to do this as simple as possible with minimum friction. For this, we will use an editor script, which I already wrote. I really hate to see tutorials with copy paste codes in them, but here, for the sake of keeping this video short, I will do so. But I will explain the codes line by line. This code does not contain any calculations or any logic in it. So let's create a folder called editor in the assets folder and move the script you can download from the description right in here. This is a script file that runs from the menu to add all the components needed and set their values on the selected game object. As you can see, it already shows up in the menu. Let's open it up and see what's in there. As you can see, this is a menu function. We have a validation method, our main operation, and some constant strings up here. Validation method is used for making sure game object is selected. If no game object is selected in the scene, we won't be able to click on this menu item. First thing we do is getting the selected game object from the scene and caching it into a variable we call character. Then we create a camera target object for Cinemachine camera to look at and follow. The robot has this, however, Ready Player Me avatar does not come with such game object in it. We will set its parent to character game object and its local position will be 1.5 on Y axis. Then we will need to replace the animator controller of our game object. It currently uses the one that comes with Ready Player Me, but we will need to replace it the one with that comes with uh, starter assets. Avatar already has the animator component, so we need to replace its runtime animator controller. 
we will do this uh, loading it from asset database with exact path of it the constant path variable you see up in the file is the location of that file you can copy this path via right clicking on the file and selecting copy path menu item finally set the root motion false and we are done then we add the third person controller component to our avatar we set the ground offset to 0.1 ground layers to 1 which is default jump timeout to 0.5 and cinemachine target to the camera target object we created first these values are the values i tested which worked correct and fine with this avatar third person controller script already requires character controller and player input components when we created these components are already added so we do not need to add these components but just get them get the character controller and set its collider bounds for this avatar center to be one on y-axis radius to be 0.3 and height to be 1.9 here we get the player input component and the only thing we need to set here is the actions file its path is also stored in a constant string up in the file we load it from the asset database and set it. last two components which are added are going to stay with their default values so we can just add them no edit is required they are basic rigid body push and starter assets inputs last line is to mark the scene dirty so we do not lose any changes we made in case we switch scenes or something like that you can also add undo ability but i won't tackle with this right now so it's up to you let's go to the scene select our avatar click on our setup character menu button and we should see all the components here and the camera target in our avatar structure let's set the camera follow and look at fields here and we are done run the scene your avatar should be walking running and jumping so that's pretty much it if you have questions about ready player me let me know if you are an indie developer who wants to use ready player me uh, can also become a partner clicking on the link in the description below do not forget to subscribe to the channel and let me know if you have any question about this tutorial. Take care.